What is up my good people? The name is Pixel Love and we are back again with another episode of Earthbound. In the last episode, I finally went to the Your Sanctuary location on Forside. I believe it was called a Magnet Hill. We destroyed some uh, rat plagues in there. Get the hell out of my way, lady. And we also recovered Pooh, the return of the king, or I guess the return of the prince. We were also able to find some sort of carrot uh, from the Magnet Hill. My stupid shit is drifting again. And we are here. Stop drifting, please. Very much love it if my control did not drift. What the actual fuck is that? <laughs> oh my god, that's... That does not look... That does not look natural. Anyways, not gonna lie. <laughs> it's kinda late where I am. Once again, I am late night recording. That's because I am a dumbass. I did not think ahead of schedule. Uh... I actually just finished recording the um, podcast, the Can of Beans podcast. By the way, if you haven't uh, if you haven't listened to it, go check it out. It's a really good podcast that I make. But uh, oh, for the love of God, please no. Nine seven, not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, I I went on there, recorded some stuff, and <laughs> I just got off of a call with like all my friends and whatnot and we were in there for god who knows how long we were on that call forever and this thing is drifting again what the fuck <laughs> so like i said before i was oh shit i actually don't know what these guys are i don't know what they're what, what what's good against them but anyways as i was saying actually what, what do we have Vulnerable to PSI fire. PSI freeze! Let's go, baby! Let's fucking go! Alright, please. Oh. No! 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 Actually, oh fuck. Paula's gonna be dead, isn't she? Shit, she is. Fuck! Uh. PSI freeze! Please, Paula, don't die on me. But oh, she's already dead. Fucking hell. Can I heal her first? Okay, let me do this. Healing. Paula. Yes, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Because what was I saying? Ah, yes. Obviously, as I mentioned before, I was on. Oh my fucking god, this controller doesn't give me a break, does it? I was on the podcast. It was a good podcast. I can't wait for... <laughs> I, I genuinely cannot wait for you guys to uh, to listen to it. And, uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna shut my mouth and just keep, uh, keep playing because I am tired. Not gonna lie, I'm thinking this might be... A, I think, I'm thinking this episode might be on the shorter side just because, again... It's like 12, it's 12 where I am, and it's it's midnight, and, I, and, and like my body hurts and everything and like that, but I don't want to miss, I, I, I absolutely hate missing days of, of not giving you guys content, because honestly, like, not gonna lie, as much, as much as like, as much as, you know, I would prefer like this to be more than just a hobby, I, I really do enjoy actually like recording these videos, talking over them and you know, giving you my, uh, what I think of the game and whatnot. I know there are some people out there who's probably going to be like, well I don't give two shits about what you say uh, during this gameplay or whatnot. I just am just here to listen to gameplay. Also, fucking hell. Oh, Come on, no! Paula. Uh, can we have a PS, can we have a, whatchamacallit, a PSI Thunder, Thund PSI Thunder up in here? But yeah, I, I generally do, oh, fucking hell, it didn't hit anyone, Paul, you fuck! I do enjoy making content for you guys, I really do. Mostly because, I, I like seeing people say, what the fuck? What? Where did where did Ness's healing go? I did fucking life up. You're kidding me. 
You're actually kidding me! I pressed healing! I'm damn sure I pressed healing. Whatever, I'ma just bash. I like seeing people watch what I put out. You know, I don't expect that many people to watch what I put out, but it's just kind of cool in my opinion that people are willing to watch what I what I have to say, what I put out in the world. You know, like if you're watching this and you leave a comment, you leave a like, you know, thank you. I actually do appreciate that. I I, re I it really does lighten my day when I see people comment on Oh my god, Ness! Dude, I kid you not. I don't know what is wrong with my controller. It's drifting more than usual. It's actually drifting more than usual. Yeah, like to the people out there who like leave leave likes, leave comments every single time that you can. Like, thank you. That that actually means a lot to me. I actually do appreciate it that you guys listen to what I have to say. You guys leaving feedback for me or whatnot. I may sound like I'm pandering, especially considering that I've gone on this tangent before. This isn't the first time I'm talking about it. And that's Mrs. Home. You're kidding me. Why? Dude, why is Ness so useless sometimes? Oh, fuck me. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to get this. Oh sweet, life up. more life up. I'm just going to get this present and I'm going to have to call my fucking mother because God knows that Ness can't do shit when he's homesick. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, oh, holy shit. Yo. Yo, 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 yo. Arms. Yo, let's go. My, bo my boy Poo finally has some equipment that he can use. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Oh, fucking hell. Anyways, like I was saying before, I am going to. I guess I'm gonna have to fight this guy, this asshole over here. Yeah, this hasn't been the first time I've been on a tangent. I've talked about it multiple times before, but I still really appreciate every single one of you. Yes, it does sound like pandering at this point in time, but I actually do mean it. I actually do mean it. <sighs> and I actually do mean when I say that Ness is probably one of the most useless characters I've ever seen. Like, I'm sorry, but I need to call I need to call Ness out on this bullshit because he should be my hardest hitter. He should be the one tearing through the battlefield. I'm not even gonna bother going into how dog his um, BSI rocking is. I, I absolutely hate it that sometimes I just outright miss. Or like it just doesn't affect uh, when I use PSI rocking just because the game says all of a sudden, hey, you know what? You, well, haha, fuck you. You're not, you're not going, hey, you're, you're not going to. I'm going to. I, I lost my tangent. I lost my train of thought. It's way. I'm, I'm way too tired. All my limbs hurts. I'm going to call my mother. Be right back. All right. I'm back, baby, and I'm more sauce up than ever. Oh, I'm going to demolish this entire fucking dungeon or whatnot. First of all, I need to take out these thunder guys. Anyways, I'm. I believe I was talking about Ness being the hard sitter. Yes, that was where my train of thought was because I completely forgot what it was. Ness is supposed to be my hardest hitter. He is also is the one that uses the most PSI. At least in terms of like his PSI rocking. His PSI rocking gamma or whatever, his third one. Is so dog. <laughs> like it's awful how bad it is. I have to use- dude, can I please stop drifting? This isn't even funny anymore. Honestly, isn't even funny. I was- Just look at this. Just look at this. Okay, so... A Psychokinetic Wave that does about... That does about 50 points of damage for 10 Psychic Points. Got it. A Psychokinetic Wave that deals about 180 for 14 Psychic Points. 
That's massive. That's such a huge that's such a huge buff to PSI Rocking Alpha. And then we have this one. 320 points for 40? That's dog! That's not even twice that's not even twice the the damage from PSI beta. And I'm using like about nearly like three times three times the fucking psychic points. And unless I ha unless there's like a magic butterfly nearby, I can't get these psychic points back really quickly. So you're joking me. You really had to poison my boy Jeff. I just, I, I, I don't know, like, Ness sometimes, he, he triggers me, he really does trigger me, because I know he can do better, but he always misses, and he kinda has dog abilities. The only good side about him is that he's tanky as fuck. This man is built different. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, I don't really like the fact that there's a big giant hole over here. But there's nothing else that can really go. What do we have here? A sudden gut spell, cool. Hey yo, magic butterfly! Oh shit, don't fall in the hole, don't fall in the hole, don't fall in the hole. Oh fuck me. I have to choose between three holes. Uh, I'll go this one. I'll go. The, I'll go the far left. What's over there? What's over there? <laughs> oh my god! It's just more enemies. He's the, one thing that I've also noticed is that despite the fact that I hit like a fucking truck. Uh, my, my defense is still pretty bad. Guys, can we please not cry? Well, why? Just why? <laughs> yeah, despite the fact that I hit like a motherfucking truck, I also take damage like I'm a fucking teddy bear. What do we have here? What's rock candy? When you eat this, it will either... When you eat this, it will increase either speed, guts, vitality, IQ, or luck. Interesting. I'm gonna have to check that out later, though. Why? Why? I wasn't even looking behind! There's no way you can tell me that I was looking behind. Absolutely no way. And it's just gonna be a bunch of assholes over here, so... I'm just going to deal with these guys as quickly as humanly possible. But we take on this guy, and you know what? Let's let's just do PSI Gamma We're not for shits and giggles. I'm about to rock your world. See, that's what I mean. Why didn't it work on the kiss of death? Why didn't it not? Come on, Pooh. I'm actually upset that... Oh, you're kidding me. It hit Jeff and it hit Paul. You're kidding me. You're actually kidding me. I'm upset that I only was able to kill one person. Really. Only one. Despite my best efforts, I was still only managed to get one of these guys down. Oh, that was massive HP actually, that was giga HP, so maybe it wasn't all doom and gloom. Thank you very much. Let us continue. Oh, would you <laughs> Well, that was, um... That was a lot more quicker than I thought. Finally got here. This is the sixth year sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. Okay. Thunder and storm, you said. Ooh. Ooh. 
Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna flash them. I am going to... I'm gonna buff everyone, every single one of us up. That way, Pooh can be the one to shield us. Let's go, baby. All our offense is going up. And they couldn't stop crying. Let's go, baby! Alright, Jeff, please tell me what are they bad at. Vulnerable to PSI Flash. Oh, I just used PSI Flash, then I not. Really? Actually, no. Gonna have to do this quickly. Let's go! Let's go! I didn't have to uh, fix Paul or anything like that. Taking deep breaths for the assault? That doesn't sound good. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Honestly, I should probably just defend. But I'm gonna be stupid and I'm just going to hit them with everything that I fucking have. And I'm gonna be shooting them with everything that I have. <laughs> Literally everything that I have. How does a PSI freeze go against them? Big damage, big damage, that's what I like to see. Huge damage, massive. Are you kidding me? How did it not work? Oh, fuck. Uh, go with Paula again. Quick, Paula. Use that one. Quick, Jeff. Big ball rocket time. Oh, fuck. No! Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I just can't, I just can't. I am not going to let Paula die right away just like that. Come on, Ness. Ness, life up, life up. Let's go! <laughs> oh, fucking, fuck me. Oh, this is what I end up doing for changing time. This is what happens when I change the fabric of time. Uh, honestly, just use just use the shield, Paula. I just need one big ball rocket. Do I not? I your shield is better, Paula. Like there's no going around it. It's better. Can we get a big ball rocket time. That's what I like to see, baby. Let's go. And I, I totally didn't need to use time travel. <laughs> That's what I like to see, baby. Oh, let's go. What is this? This looks like magic can almost. I kid you not. This genuinely reminds me a lot of magic can. Being on that fucking terrible pink cloud. Ness had a short vision of seeing his mother when she was young. Wait, what? Oh, we're, <laughs> we're in pink cloud. Cool. Cool, I guess. Well, all these guys should fear me, should they not? No, they still don't fear me. I am going to try looking around this in the rest of this sanctuary, the rest of this dun dungeon, just to see if I missed anything else. And if I didn't miss anything else, I'll just tell you guys. But right now, I need to rock the world out of these, all of these guys as quickly and as humanely as possible. So, I'll be right back. Alright, so there wasn't anything else in the lawn that I needed to and whatnot so the next I also just didn't get anything over there so the next thing that I know that we have to do is go to Scaraba and the thing is is like 
One of these old farts are supposed to like... Oh my fucking god, you're kidding me. I'm just no. Just no. As I was saying, one of these old guys was supposed to like give me the ship and whatnot. Because, um, but he was like, no, I can't give it to you or whatnot. Go to Scarab, you need to cross the street. Or a monster named Kraken, blah, blah, blah. Are you scared? No, I'm not scared. Just give me one of your ships, old people, please. Thank you, I made my wife. That's right. This was the guy who was talking about the magic cakes thing. I completely forgot. He was stuck in that stupid stoic club. She quit talking about all that serious crap. Yeah, let's work hard. If you're courageous, get on this boat. You'll probably see the crack <laughs> and experience getting seasick. After all, it can only cost you your life, and you got that for free. Luck will determine the outcome on this voyage. So do you want to set sail to seize a scarab? 20 bucks! <laughs> Aw, oh, you're conning me, you're conning me, fucking Jesus. Alright, am I supposed to move it? Okay, no, I guess I'm not moving it. Good. But yeah, I completely forgot. This guy was the one who told, was talking to me about his wife, about his wife's son's uh, magic cakes. This was also the guy who I wasn't able to get the recording from because I accidentally pressed pause. That was fucking embarrassing, not gonna lie. That was probably the most embarrassing thing that I've ever done while recording. Like, genuinely, I'm not even kidding. I, I was I was kind of a little upset after that. Because I had thought that I had pressed pause on the recording because I was just, um, doing something or whatnot. Wait! Wait, wait, I need to stop the boat. It's been a long time since I was out on open sea, so I feel seasick. <laughs> A sailor who gets seasick? How come you guys are alright? So that bald guy over there? Your buddy, right? He came from Dalam? You guys must be quite the adventurers. <laughs> Feeling much better now. Anchors away. I, I, I kind of feel the sailor guy. I, I don't get seasick. I have... Rarely have I ever actually like been on the water, let alone a boat, so and I don't recall ever being seasick. However, I am historically known to get carsick a lot. And, oh my god. Ooh, what the fuck? <laughs> Here it comes! Oh my god, it's the Kraken. Well... No reason to beat around the bush on this one again. Just do what we did last time. Yeah. Well, one of the reasons why I feel like I'd be an awful, like, driver on a car or whatnot. Because I get seasick. Not seasick. Car sick. Quite easily. Like, unironically. And could just be because I haven't been on a car that often. None of my parents ever had a car. I, my sister doesn't know how to drive a car, whatnot, but like still though, it's just really concerning that one, I wasn't able to find out if this Kraken was vulnerable to anything, and two, that I'm supposed to learn how to drive a car and whatnot, but I don't, I, I'm fucking, I, I get, you know, <laughs> I get, I get fucking car sick a lot. Uh, there's no reason being to beat around the bush. Just throw everything at him. Huge damage. Massive damage. And his defense go down. Let's go, baby! His defense went down! We're rocking his world, baby! Look at that damage! Oh my god, that's huge damage. My Joy-Con is drifting again. Why is it drifting? I'm not even using the analog. Yes. Keep doing what I'm doing. Just throw everything at him. And I don't have any more big ball rockets. Fuck me. Well, it's time to use the heavy bazooka. <laughs> Let's see, let's see how heavy this bazooka really gets. 
Big damage, massive. Look at that! The Kraken just went down just like that! <laughs> Ooh, baby! Ness is already at level 60! Let's fucking go, baby! Wait a minute, how much? How much was that? Vitality, IQ, luck, max. Oh, it was just the maximum HP. I thought it was the. I thought I uh, increased my PSI points by like, um, like seventeen. I was like, what? Am I reading that correctly? Dude, everyone's leveling up. That's what I like to see. That's honestly what I really like to see. Oh man, I thought you guys were just everyday little kids, but you defeated the Kraken. I also helped in the battle. You know, I threw my slippers at the beast, you know? Maybe you didn't notice, probably because you got obliterated by a fucking freeze and a big bottle rocket. You didn't do shit, sailor. Actually, I probably shouldn't say that. You did do something. You at least took me down all the way here to Scaraba. At least that's where I hope you're leading me to. Yes, sir, we finally found shore. Oh, you're kidding me. I'm gonna get sunstroke here as well. Really? And half of the fucking town isn't even showable? You're joking me. You come from Toto by ship? There's a scary monster in the sea. You beat him? Or, or did you escape? Either way, you're fantastic! Uh, it says right here that they have a shop, so check that out. This isn't the shop, is it? No, not the shop. I'm a dumbass. I don't want to get sunstroke again, though. I'm Red Snake. Come on in. This Sapphire Armpit here. What is it that you want? The snake. I'll think about that later. Mark of bad luck on your face? Come back here after you encountered a dangerous situation. Guys, I just want to see what y'all are selling me. Seasonings. You know, I actually was told that I should buy sugar packets. Um, I'll do that just a little later. I just want to see what everyone else here has. Uh, no. You're afraid of snakes? Yes, I am afraid of snakes. I did not want to do anything with snakes. Scarabo delicacy. Uh, it doesn't look too bad, but no, I really want to see if there's any equipment that you guys have. Crystal charm? What does the crystal charm do? Alright, I'm looking this up. What does it do? Okay, so here's what I ended up getting. I ended up getting a crystal charm, which is just a better gray charm for me than than the great charm obviously so I sold that because I still can't find a freaking pendant and I also bought this piggy nose because supposedly I can find magic truffles with it I'll have to look into that a little later for now but I was also able to find this broken cannon for Jeff and well there's really isn't you're kidding me twice in a row there really isn't anything for me to really bother trying to save up here in the shop, so this is what I'm gonna do. I am going to do this trick or whatnot that I was told that just fill up somebody's um, inventory filled with like sugar packets, giving them the rock candy. Now, considering that Pooh is my lowest level, and considering that I have no fucking clue what this, uh, I have no clue what freaking, I'm losing my train of thought here, it's very late, it's almost 1am. Considering I don't know what exactly Pooh will get, I don't know if it's gonna increase his IQ, I don't get guts, vitality or whatnot, I have no fucking clue at all. 
I am just going to shove as much sugar packets as I can. And I'll give it to Boo. And in theory, I should see some crazy stats used on Poo. And up by two. Poo, now I have a bunch of sugar packets on my god damn inventory for nothing. I probably fucked it up one way or another. I may have turned back the hands of time because I was told that I actually need to use it in battle, so there's that, I suppose. I'm just wondering where the hell is the hotel? The hotel's right there. Oh, let me through. I just want to sleep. I just want to call my dad. <laughs> dad, please. Uh, thank you very much for that 184000 I have in the bank. <laughs> that investment that I did in summers was absolutely correct. I'm running the Bitcoin train. I'm running the NFT train. Actually, no. Fuck NFTs. But I'm running the investment train. I wasted my money, but in return, I got even more money. Let's fucking go. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm seriously rambling on just a little bit more than usual because <laughs> I am fried. So I'm going to leave it off here. If you like the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Pixel11 and whatnot. Podcast is coming out this Wednesday. See you guys in the next video. And tomorrow and whatnot. Take care, everybody.